Hi there, and welcome to Jay's Toy Collection UK for another unboxing video. And this one's a real treat for you. So, I thought, where haven't I done an unboxing yet? And I thought, on the toilet. So here I am, on the toilet, in the bathroom, as you can see. And we have a box. Now, I've opened the one side, but I haven't looked yet. So I actually hope what I think in there is actually in there. Well, this could be a bit of a waste of time. So, what do we have in the box? Oh. Oh, I think it could be. I think it could be for those symbiote fans out there. We have, oh, where's the back? It is the new Symbiote 3 pack. So I got this from Indeman Toys in the UK, which I think have seemed to have got them in slightly earlier than Amazon. It's not quite as big as I thought, so I think we'll start off with some box comparisons. So I better leave the bathroom now before she kills me. I'll see you in a second. Now for the bit you've all been waiting for, box comparisons, because everybody loves box comparisons, don't they? Firstly, check out the new bedding there in the bedroom here. Cheeky Monkey Kiara's new Toy Story bed, and I'm sure she'll love me showing that off. So there is the new Venom 3-pack in the middle, next to the Mojo World box set. So it's a little taller, but it's nowhere near as wide or as deep. Not as deep at all. A standard Marvel Legends plastic window figure there with Quake. So it's much bigger than that. And then there's a VHS box. And just for another random box comparisons, we've got the Masters of the Universe massive TV box and the much bigger Turtles SDCC box. So it's quite it's quite thin really on the side. Nowhere near compared to like the old Amazon box sets like the Children of Thanos box. So they've definitely shrunk the box down with the uh, the new plastic free. So what I'll do is I'll get out of here and let's get this thing unboxed. Right then, let's get these figures out of here. So, no tape on the bottom, so that's a that's a start. I still think I need the knife to uh, get in there and flip open the flap. Flip open the flap. What? I don't quite know where I get some of these sayings from. So, what have we got? Probably a big tray. Oh yes, look at that. We got a sort of divided tray. Looks like a little tackle box or something. So, what have we got in here? Item one. Crunchy, crunchy, crunch. We've got a piece of a back. Looks like the back for Riot. So we're going to have to... He's a bigger figure, so I assume he's actually a builder figure. We need to build the bloody thing. Uh, right. Uh, head for Venom. Nice big licky tongue. And some uh, fists. This looks like another accessory for Riot. Uh, yeah, slashing axe effect for Riot. I'm going to guess this is a spare head for Agony. Come on, come to me. Oh, what's falling out there? The hands. Oh, that's a cool looking head. Spare head for Agony. Or maybe her only head. Does she come headless? Does she come headless? Have they actually packed her in with a head? They have. Look at that. They've packed her in with actually out putting her head on. So we've got the headless agony. We've got to build our own figures now. Literally. Right. Okay. Let's get through this. Once I've got this open, I'll go to the light box to hopefully get some uh, better images. What? A, my goodness. <laughs> There's Riot. He's uh, well. He's certainly in quite the position. Um, Hasbro. This, this plastic free packaging is all a bit weird, really, if you've asked me. The way they're packing these figures. Uh, and, oh my goodness, there's Venom. Oh, that is a very good head. We'll get a closer look in a second. So there's Venom. I think I've lost some fists. We've got a pile of figures on the floor. I'll, uh, I'll try and build them all correctly, and we'll go and have a look in the light box. Right then, here we are in a light box. Look at that. Oh, fancy. I'm almost professional, you would say. So here's Riot then, the biggest of the symbiotes. I've put the interchangeable hand on, the sort of axe effect hand there for Riot. I think he's built on the old Monster Venom body. Definitely build a figure size. You do have to click the uh, click the back piece on him. So they have done him in a, quite a strong blue. So Riot to me should be grey, but I think this is a more modern version of Riot. So you have got the details in there of the grey 
that comes through. It's actually under the lights does look pretty cool, but he is very, very blue. But a nice big chunky figure. The interchangeable hands are really good. He stands really well. And we'll put them all in the collection uh, once I've had a quick look at them. So there's Riot. On to the lady of the pack then. It's Agony. Very pink. Almost a bit salmony there. Almost like a fish. But she does look good. So the head was quite hard to get on. I had to go and heat it up to get it on. I thought the neck peg was going to snap. But I've managed to get it on. So just be careful when um, putting that on. You might need to heat her up. She does look really good. Unlike the other two in the pack, she is pinless. For all those fans of pinless out there. Uh, there's the rear for any of you perverts. There we are. But the head looks cool. There's a nice uh, bit of paint going through the top there for Agony. So she does look very good. And a female body that stands up. It's almost a miracle. Right, let's have a look at Venom. Right, and on to the main event of the pack, in my opinion. It is Venom. So he looks like he has been upgraded to be on the Omega Red body, I think. And they have plugged the tendrils in the back. So... Paint's a little sloppy on the paint, but nothing too major. Does look good on this body. You've got the symbiote bits on the arms there as well, like on the uh, animated version of Venom. And then you've got this crazy Eddie Brock transforming head sculpt, which I think could possibly be the best head sculpt in the entire Marvel Legends line. I absolutely love this thing. It's like a throwback almost to the Spider-Man Classics figure from way back in the day, just before Marvel Legends started, of the sort of transforming Eddie Brock Venom figure. So you do have the butterfly joints and everything, so I'm sure you've got to get some good articulation. For those that like that sort of thing, you get the spare head where he uh, licks, his own, licks his own face, literally, and a couple of fists there for Venom. So there's Venom in all his glory. What I will do now is go and put them in the collection and show you the display. Just as a quick look before we go upstairs, I do like the Life Foundation, as you can see there. In the corner is a, st a signed Stanley comic there of a Venom Lethal Protector with all the different symbiote colours on it. So it is away in the corner, but there's a little look at that. So that's why I've been quite excited for this set. So let's have a look at them in display. And in the time it's taken me to walk up the stairs, uh, Kapari Toys have just sent me an invoice for the animated cell shaded Spider-Man. So more Marvel Legends to come. So here is my symbiote shelf with the King in Black logo there. So Life Foundation front and centre of the shelf now with Lasher, Scream, Venom, Phage, Agony and Riot. There they all are with Anti-Venom. Uh, null, a bit of carnage there. There's Toxin and a few of the other symbiote style characters in the display there. But the actual Venom from this set, he's been upgraded. He's gone over here into the wardrobe. I will have a video on soon. Now I've pretty much finished it. He is down here in the sort of 90s Spider Man shelf with a long of carnage and everybody else down there. So. He's in there, in the sort of 90s Spider-Man display, with the sort of more classic characters above. But I will do a full video on all that, and coming soon, hopefully. So, hope you like the video. That is a quick in-hand look at the new free pack. Uh, like and subscribe if you wish, all that sort of thing. And I'll see you soon. Bye.